The animal has arrived. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Washington, D.C. We can list this man's accolades all day long. WWE Champion, a Royal Rumble winner, a man who has main evented WrestleMania. And now Batista simply demands that the WWE Universe give him what he wants. Unparalleled success, both in the ring and in Hollywood. Which is insane, because for some reason, the WWE Universe has never appreciated Batista quite enough. Well, no question about it, Batista will demand the respect of the WWE Universe right here tonight. Coming down from on high. Wow. One of the very best to ever do it. Shawn Michaels. career defined by memorable and historic victories. A back-to-back -back Royal Rumble winner, the first ever Grand Slam champion, competed in the first ever ladder match. I hate to cut you off, Michael, but HBK's accolades could go on all night. He's a true inspiration, a shining light in this business.
and Batista oozing confidence as this match is underway. Love him or hate him, Big Dave has always carried himself like a superstar. The cars, the clothes, this is a man who loves what he does and knows he does it well. This is the same man who once appeared on Raw and said, give me what I want, and everyone knew what he meant. What he wants tonight, presumably, is a win. We'll see if he can get it in this contest. Shawn Michaels knows all of that, and I don't think he could care any less because he's ready to show him just why they call him the showstopper, the main event. That limitless confidence of Michaels already a factor, as you say, Corey. He moves just in time. High-impact crossbody. Sent into the corner. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Oh, no, it's roll up. Fighting hard to stay in this match. Shoulder tackle. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. And go. Oh! Shawn Michaels' offense comprises of so many forms of attack. Corey, is there a way for his opponent tonight? to contain an offensive onslaught that will come from all directions. Look no further than the source of Sean's first retirement. Target is surgically repaired back. Attack it, and that may keep Michaels at bay. Look over the foot. Race long and countered into an arm drag. Big forearms. Chop! Back to the body. This could be... Kick out. This isn't even close to over. Uh oh. Batista turns it around. Bullseye! Michaels has to show his resilience after taking that maneuver. And you can see why Batista carries himself with such confidence. It's a special kind of athlete who can control an opponent like that. Gotta hurt. That kind of force in the arm can have lingering effects. Aside. She's got thrown around like a sack of you know what. Evades the attack. Got him set up. This could be it, Corey. Batista bomb. Batista didn't waste time. Wow, just barely making it out. Unbelievable resilience and resolve from Michaels. What a kick out. And Batista visibly frustrated now as he's not being given what he wants. The animal just might be unleashed as a result of the aggravation. And he's taking this to the outside now. Leg breaker! Elbow drop. Piercing. Oh, that hurt to the chest. He's heading back to the ring. Sean, feeling the sense of confidence here.
dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. Ooh, a sharp kick. Stuck in the tree of woe. They are doing whatever. Shoulders down. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. High risk. HBK from the top with the elbow. HBK put a little something extra on that one. A heartbreak kid. Tune it up the bed. Here we go. Staved off that attack. Reversal on top of reversal. Uh-oh. Tune it. Gets the win. Here is your winner, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels! Batista falls short of success, taking a loss here in this one. Pretty shocking to see the animal get tamed like this. A tough loss for Batista. One of the most destructive forces we've ever seen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 350 pounds, the Samoan Bulldozer, Umaga! We may be about to see a fight or a one-sided mauling. Umaga went undefeated in WWE for over a half a year. Yeah, during that time, Umaga earned victories over the likes of Kane, John Cena, Shawn Michaels, and Triple H. Unmatched savagery inside the ring from bell to bell from Umaga. A major talent, Randy Orton. This is gonna be good. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 255 pounds, Randy Orton! You know, I see a lot of potential in this kid, but all he does is talk about his dad. It's called respecting your elders, Saxton. It's good to see Orton looking up to the legends of WWE.
The Samoan bulldozer, Umaga, in action here tonight. I can't think of another superstar that lives up to their moniker quite like Umaga. Time and time again, we've seen Umaga's ability to overwhelm his opponents with his practically inhuman toughness. Umaga's certainly not a competitor to be taken lightly, Byron. And he'll be facing off against the generational sensation, Randy Orton. It's going to be a tough fight going up against Orton, Saxton. Being a superstar is literally in his blood, and I don't know if you ever got to catch his father in action, but that man was no easy opponent. Snake Eyes! Oh, my goodness. Ah, the cover. No, he pops the shoulder before three. Somehow, some way. He turns it around on Umaga. Randy Orton has been at the top of the food chain in WWE for years now. Is his opponent just more prey entering the Viper's den? While Orton is still as dangerous as ever, his focus can be brought into question. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes the Viper will lose sight of his goals. If his opponents can capitalize on those moments, we'll see the Apex Predator become the prey. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Kick to the stomach. Counters that. Ooh! Bringing the focus to the temple, hoping to disorient. He's getting a little battered now. Randy showing shades of his father with that attack. Wicked clothesline. He's got him down. Is this it? No, he kicks out. Still no end in sight here. Able to parry that one. Wheelbarrow suplex. Devastating. What an impressive offensive attack for Randy Orton. The young man forging his own path in this match. into the corner. Umaga with a reversal. Uh-oh. Big chop block. That'll stop you in your tracks. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Big punch finds its mark. That's a free fall. Look out! Ooh! Here we go! Timing quickly to cover! And a kick out at two! He thought he had it! The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now! What a stiff headbutt! This one, uh oh! He had it scouted! Randy Orton calls this the Umaga looks out of it. Three, no, a two count. There is not a more terrifying sight than Umaga kicking out after you hit him with your best shot. And this match is still not over. Orton is seething at that kick out. This has become a monumental clash. There are no breaks on these competitors. The will from way up, punched to the stomach, and stopped in their tracks. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. You can't prepare your face for that. Stomp in the leg. Oh, stomp it away. Bad predicament right here. Down in the wind pipe. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Devastating knee to the neck. Orton has the momentum against him here. Yeah, I'm sensing that Orton has lost his focus here. The Viper needs to bring his goals from the top rope. What a Samoan splash. Looking to end it here. This could be it. Major, major win. That'll change his career.
Certainly a disappointing loss for Randy tonight. The Viper got caged in this battle. Some say this might be karma coming to slay the Legend Killer. I just say it builds more venom in the fangs. One of those damn Dudleys is at it again. Who knows what we'll see tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making his way to the ring. Representing the Dudley Boys from Dudleyville. Weighing in at 269 pounds, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Devon Dudley! Tons of tag team gold, but more than ready to fight on his own. Oh, the collection plate is out, and he is ready to punish the sinners. Doesn't matter if he's fighting alone or with his brother, Devon will beat you up all the same. Now, Devon is more than happy to put folks through tables all on his own. Heck, maybe he'll put one of us through one, too. The most loyal man in WWE. Here comes Stax. And his opponent, representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Channing Stax Lorenzo! The Don's right-hand man. Stax is not a man you want to cross. Incredibly athletic and ruthless, he'll stop at nothing to climb to the top of WWE. Yeah, and there's an especially dangerous feeling when he's in the ring. Stax treats every match like a turf war. Stax has two educations, one from the streets and one from school. That's what makes him twice as smart. Well, it's that sharp IQ that's helped him conquer the streets and WWE. Devon Dudley looking to carry on his legendary career tonight. The Hall of Fame pedigree. The man is an 18-time tag team champion. 18. That's no easy task on its own. But when you consider that's across three promotions, that's just ludicrous. Yeah, Devon is certainly no stranger to winning. And I'm sure that's what he's focused on in this match. But Stax is on a mission, and he thinks he's ready to control the entire men's division. That's definitely a lofty goal, but Stax is a big dreamer with an even bigger level of talent. I really think he can do anything he puts his mind to. Oh, right to the leg. Stax just adding salt to the wound right now. Ooh. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. 
Brought back into the ring from the floor now. He turns it around. Devon gets intercepted. The springboard attack fails to land. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. And look at that, Saxton. He's running away. Uh, I wouldn't say that. He's just recomposing himself. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Ah, look at this. Oh, shoulder, elbow, all affected with that. Stomping out. Oh, this is turning into a real Donnybrook here. This superstar's rocked, and this superstar apparently has had enough of this. Yeah, walking away. Discretion's the better part of valor. Uh, how about calling it a retreating? Whoa! Uh -oh. No Who the hell? retreat. This just went from bad to worse. Corey, why did that superstar just throw them back in the ring? Your guess is as good as mine, but right now it's time to plant your feet and throw hands. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Stax just goading his opponent. And he'll Whoa. leave the ring for this next stretch. Devon gets out of the way. Kick right to the body. Sharp clothesline. Oh my gosh. Devon now trying to capitalize. These two trading counters, an absolute master class. Powerless position to be in right now. Oh, that was quite the impact on the apron. You might be in shock now, but you'll be feeling lasting pain for a few weeks to come. Taking this one back to the ring now. And Devon Dudley wants more from his opponent. Oh, and he's back in, beating the count. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. He thinks he has it. And he breaks the count quickly. Showing his determination there with that kick out. And a clothesline. And Stax is failing to make any advances. Right now, Devon is doing whatever he feels like doing. A little cockiness here from Devon Dudley. Devon points to the podium. Saving grace. No way Stax can come back from that. There's two. Ah, picking up the victory as his opponent does his best. Saxton stares up at the lights. Here is your win. Some could say this loss really added insult to injury. It was enough to be disrespected earlier on, but the loss definitely didn't help matters. That was what you call a statement win, gentlemen. They just put the whole locker room on notice. Respect is earned, not given. Hell, you can even try and take it.
Time to feel the Grayson Waller effect. I'd rather not. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Sydney, Australia. Weighing in at 206 pounds. Grayson Waller! An impressive athlete with tons of natural talent. I'm sure Waller asked you to say that. Uh, yeah, but he didn't need to. I would have said it anyway. Can he survive intensity and power from another galaxy? I think the Ultimate Warrior is prepared to unleash fury on his poor soul. The feeling in this building is electric. And his opponent from parts unknown. Oh, that was ugly. Catching the competition completely unprepared. Didn't even see it coming. Looks like the referee is motioning to these superstars, trying to get them into the ring. Yeah, come on. Let's get this match started the right way. Well, I, for one, don't see anything wrong with this. Referee signals for the bell, and we are finally underway. These superstars are seeing red right now, gentlemen. Off the ropes. Oh, and a big right. He takes control. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Oh. Had the ultimate warrior scouted. Going up top. We've seen the incredible athletics of Grayson Waller and how quickly he can adapt. What's his opponent got to do to get the upper hand against Waller? You got to keep your head on a swivel with Waller. And not just because of his athletics. Waller's already so masterful at bending the rules. If you can keep him from doing that, you might be able to find an opening. Oh, and the Warrior reverses. Oh, target in the arm. This has got to hurt. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Basement drop kick. A precision strike like that had to be calculated. Ooh, slows that down with a well-placed kick. Caught with the boot. And finds a counter. A little thunder roll. That one did the job to bust Warrior wide open. Oh, jarring back elbow. Hits him with the counter. Hung out to dry. Taking it outside the ring now. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara on bar. Oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. To the back of the neck. Just going all out with every blow. And that's going to jam Grayson's offense. This incredibly hostile rivalry has reached levels we don't often see around here. This has been a defining journey for these superstars. They're not the same people they were when these two trading one blow after another. Counter by Grayson. Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. Just teeing off with that fight forever vibe. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar running to be the This could be it. Cover. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. Well scattered reversal there. From the ultimate warrior. And here comes the warrior from the... Uh-oh. Blocked it. The knees up could provide a huge turnaround. Oh, ouch. And he goes for the pin. Stops the count before a two. Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. 
Uh-oh. Harlem sidekick. A forearm right to the jaw. Someone's about to take a nap. What? Basement Haymaker taking a nap. Snapmare by Waller. Where the hell is he going? Oh, here comes Waller. Rolling Thunder Stunner. Will Waller make it pay off? Two. He's still in this fight. What a kick out. Warrior channeled the power of all the little warriors to remain alive. That was the home run shot. Taking flight. Nobody hold on that. It is unbelievable what these athletes have been putting each other through. Absolutely pushing each other beyond any normal human's limits. Face buster. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Ultimate Warrior just letting himself run wild. We'll see if he can maintain that unmatched energy. Carefully measured. Big leg drop. Big forearm. Hoist it up. Nice suplex. And the cover for the win. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Grayson Waller incensed with this defeat. And of course, Warrior still has plenty of energy to celebrate this win. She is truly a once-in-a-generation competitor. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Redondo Beach, California, the ninth wonder of the world, China! She is a bona fide trailblazer for women's wrestling. She's made history her entire career, especially during the Attitude Era. Yeah, what a career China's had, and of course her relationship with D-Generation X putting her on the map. Former champion in her own right. A former Intercontinental Champion, Cole. And a women's champion.
her partner from Orlando, Florida, A-O-E. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. A determined look on her face. She knows how to prove herself in the women's division. One of the toughest women around. Rhea Ripley. And from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley! She became the first ever NXT UK Women's Champion sent a message to the entire world in the 2017 and 2018 May Young Classic tournaments. You know, some would call this confidence, others arrogance. That's the look on the face of Rhea Ripley. What we do know is that Rhea Ripley is always prepared for any kind of fight. From Dungeon to Diva to an all-time great. And from Calgary, Alberta. Natalia, a product of the famed Heart Dungeon, but she's made her own legacy in WWE. Natalia has been one of the most dominant superstars in the women's division ever. Natalia has a great mixture of mat wrestling skill as well as pure power. The Queen of Hearts is about to hold court. And now this match has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in their vocabulary at this point. I think you're right, Saxton, and I love it. She manages to get control. Oh, right suplex. Both arms captured and vitriolic stops. Stop it away. Oh, I don't have you seeing stars. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. Uh, might take her head clean off her shoulders. How's that for a counter? Tossing them aside. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? Franken 
Steiner. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Able to avoid it there. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. And China takes on some brute force. Destructive offense from Natalia. Got the tag. Got the tag. Ooh, vicious kick to the spine. Across the top rope. Ooh, what a hot shot. She has trouble coming. Not going to be easy to get out of this. And able to beat Natalia to the punch. Using the ropes. Ooh. Watch out. Max Handle from the middle row. Can she do it here? She was close to the end there. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Tossed into the corner. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Just floating through the air. Natalia failing to offer any resistance here. Natalia needs to find an opening fast. She makes the tag. She is unleashed. Face Buster first. Oh, Ripley put a stop to that. Uh oh. Oof. Back elbow puts a stop to things. Inverted atomic drop. Ooh. What a drop kick. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Pow, what a shot. Momentum shifted in China's favor. Yeah, China is really remaining the aggressor here. position with the desperation jawbreaker. Counter upon counter, great minds thinking alike. Places her right in the corner. Torturous focus on the leg. Ooh, that kind of focused attack on the leg could provide dividends. Slam! What impact. There's a tag. Steiner. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Punch lands. Good boom. Big form. Oh, with authority. This is going to be nasty. Oh, and a leg breaker. Now that'll do some serious damage. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Double big back body drop. Catches the kick. Spectacular counter into a dragon screw. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing four. China out of harm's way. These women are ripping each other to shreds. How are they moving? These combatants have been beaten to all hell. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. He got the shoulders down. And 
she fights it off. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Oh, Push! Oh, what a counter. Inverted atomic drop. Ah, oh, she counters right back on China. Set up in the corner of the ring. Uh-oh. Face first. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. China put a stop to that. Suplex brings him down. Here's a tag. Full speed into the running sit out jawbreaker. And here we go now. Elbow drop. She turns it around. Rhea Ripley with her opponent up on her shoulders. Electric chair. Oh, an electric chair. Will it be? I think so. Kick out. I'm in shock that she kicked out. You and I both, Byron. Uh-oh, feel the glow. Feel it, guys. Feel it. it is. I'm feeling it. There's the save. How close was that? Tag, switching it up. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. Tag is made, and here we go. This is clothesline. China is being stopped. Dangerous situation. The boat, Natalia, doing what she does best. Sharpshooter applied. She's in a trip. Ah, oh, save. Just in the nick of time. And my word, this has been a match for the ages. This has been a monumental affair. She's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. He knew what was coming there. Oh. Oh, boom. She's tagged in. Rhea Ripley looking for the submission. Look at this power with the prism trap. Oh my goodness, this may be over quick. And she lets her out of the submission. I don't know if it's Mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with their prey. And she had Natalia's number there. Just a dominant display. Look at this power slam. That's gotta be it. She kicks out with force. What? What? Oh, oh, what do you say? That this is amazing. What a match. Oh, that might have just broken something. She's starting to tire a little. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're gonna wind up with a few battle scars. In full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. And it's Natalia with the reversal. Close line. Comes in off the tag. Frankensteiner. Carefully plays stomp to the arm. That's how you wear down your opponent. Might take her head clean off her shoulders. Able to tag her partner. Brought down. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent, tossing them aside. Natalia comes in off the tag. Nice calf kick, great elevation. Turns the favor there. Answering back. What a shot. Oof. She's feeling the hurt here. 
Yeah, Natalya showed that heart family wisdom. Oh, alley -oop power bomb. That might be it. There's the tag. Uh-oh, here it comes. Inverted Alabama slam. She covers for the pin. Oh, Thank goodness for the teammate. Not just quite in time. She got Ripley here. Suplex. Cover. Two count. Wards off the pin at two. Good Lord, scarily close to three. Lifted into the fireman's carry. Launched into a roundhouse kick. She gets the tag. China looking for the double underhook. Here it comes. Pedigree. Bad spot for Ripley. Shoulders down. And there's the save. I don't know about you two, but I can barely hear my own thoughts. The WWE Universe is making their feelings heard loud and clear. Goes down low, China looking for us. Does China put this one away? Placed in the corner, counters with an attack on China. Natalia comes in off the tag. And strong forearm. And this has got to be it! Kick out. She still has life. She just won't stay down. Into a dragon screw leg whip. Counter by Natalia. Each competitor is showing they've done their homework. Ooh. Gets the tag. Rolling neck snap. Her opponent has her cornered now. I hope she's got a little something extra left in the tank. Otherwise, she's in trouble. She starts to rise back up, but does she know where she is? Drip kick from behind! Ooh, look at her answering back! She's pushed into the corner. Ah, oh, dragon screw! Expertly applied leg lock. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Just take a look at the WWE Universe. They know there is no better place to be than right here, right now. Oh, boom! Fighting back with a counter. Boom! And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. This is excruciating. Nice escape. All wrapped up. Over clutch in the bottom is carry takeover. Seated bionic elbow. Oh. oh. Things are getting risky. This will not end well. Back suplex on the apron. Oh, boom. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Thrown back in under the ropes. Back elbow. Jeez, did you see that? Scratching and clawing. This could be it.
team chemistry in full effect with these two superstars. That's about as perfect an example of tag team wrestling you're ever likely to see. It's going to be an interesting matchup, but we've got company, gentlemen. Oh, look who it is. Oh, this match just got even more exciting. Why does this superstar need to be out here? Well, it looks like they're coming our way, Saxton. You can ask them yourself. Oh, great. There's nothing wrong with surveying a situation. As long as they sit closer to you. How can you focus on your opponent in the ring when you got someone running around a ringside? Running around, Cole, they're simply here to survey the scene. Maybe take a few notes. It's about game prep. Yeah, maybe take a few notes. Likely to get involved. Bell rings, and hopefully these superstars' eyes are on the prize here. Obviously, an attempt was just made to shake some focus in this one. So much for a fair fight. What's unfair about checking a fellow superstar's reflexes, Saxton? Oh, really? Is that what you think that was, Corey? Taking this outside. This could be good. Out. Driving the head right into the gut. That looked low to me. Leg drop. The claw is in. Agonizing. They need to be aware of a count out right now. Caught in a bad position here. He kicks out before the count hits two. Tried to make short work of things. Oh! Cena has the moniker Big Match John for good reason. I think Cena's going to pull out all the stops to win this match. That Big Match mentality also means higher risk and a higher chance of crashing and burning. A smart man looks at that and sees that the key to this matchup is to play it safe and wait for Cena to make some mistakes. That's still a quick kick out at this point. tricks for that springboard stunner. Up and down. What a slam. Just like that, Cena gets intercepted. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. The larger-than-life Cena being brought back down to earth. Sokoa making an example of his opponent. Delivering nasty stumps. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Oh, look at the knee strikes. Just endless knee strikes. He has never had a chance to block any of those. Yeah. Counter. And now there's an open. 
happening? Oh, back elbow. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. And Cena is taking on a lot of offense now. And look at that. He's clearly playing it safe and capitalizing on Cena's mistakes. Great strategy against Big Match John. Did you guys expect this match to be this physical? Absolutely. This is exactly what I came to see tonight. And now the action spilling to the outside of the ring. Our guest commentator looking on. Yeah, taunting the guest commentator. Now beating the hell out of his opponent. Seems like our guest has taken issue. Oh, oh. Well, our guest commentator is no more, guys. Well, we still got a match to settle. Might not take that long. Somehow you got... Oh, wait a second. Maybe not. Roll up. One, two, no. Kick out of two. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Really just laying it in. Extending their opponent's arm out. Oh, man! Leg drop arm breaker! Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Cena with a reversal. Something of a competitive edge has been brewing between these superstars lately. A drive to prove who really has the upper hand here. Yeah, competition can really bring out the best of people, and I think we will be seeing that from them here and beyond. He reverses it. Sokoa hits the spinning solo. Massive offense from the street champ. Winding up. Samoan spike. Solo can end this now. Down. And they're still in this. You can't deny Cena's penchant for the dramatics. Probably one of the closest two and nine tenths counts I've ever seen. Throwing everything in the kitchen sink in there, but to no avail. From the top. He just won't give up. And Cena finds himself on the receiving end. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Uh-oh. Oh, look at this. Oh, headbutt. Three, four, oh, what a leg drop. High level of offense on display from Solo. Cena needs to find some energy fast. He might be able to start mounting something here. But Cena still has to do more to get this fully in his favor. Uncorked a clothesline to deny that maneuver. And the official calls a double count out. Should have listened to the count.
Yeah, now we're talking. The following champion vs. champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 225 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Chris Eric O. Hey, where's the horse? What are you talking about? Yeah, what horse? The high horse this superstar always seems to be on. Did Jerry Lawler write that line for you? The champ knows the competition level's at an all-time high. He needs to show he's above all competitors. And here comes one of my favorites. And his opponent from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Jeff Harvey! The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. Action has made it back to the ring, and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hands on this one. He got whipped into that corner, catching a drop kick. Oh! Uh-oh! He's one step ahead there. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? Turning the tables there. Great reversal. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. Oh, man. Goes low to sweep them right off their feet. Standing shootings. Can he do it here? Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. <laughs> Elbow throw saying not today. Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights out. He's taking this to the floor now. Oh. Face buster. That is it. He's absorbed some damage already. Able to interrupt the attack. Oh, come on, it's enough. Third time's a charm. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Referee's count only getting higher. Come on, gotta get back in the ring. 
throw. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Out of the way in time. Uh, using the top rope as an advantage. You ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Just how desperate. Oh no, now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. Boston Crab applied and it does not look pleasant. Oh no. And watch this, letting him free. Had him where he wanted him, but maybe he has something better planned. He switches it back around. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Just breaking down the opponent. Drop kick to the back. <laughs> Up and down. Oh, oh not yet. Oh, uh -oh. again. Power bomb with the reversal. Drop. They'll stop them in their place. Ooh, leg drop right to the midsection. And then the basement drop kick. He's got the answer for that one. Going for it. Trying to step through. All on their belly. Remarkable power being shown here. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. And that'll finally do it. What a victory. Here is your winner, Chris Eric O. Oh! Big effort tonight. A well-earned victory here tonight. This win is going to have them on a high for quite some time, I have to believe. Winning's great, Saxton, but they have to start thinking about their next challenge sooner rather than later. This win won't be all that matters much longer. We are about to bear witness to the queen. Listen, here is a truly generational talent. There's no doubt about that. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from the Queen City, the Divas Champion, Charlotte. 
She is a game changer, a trailblazer, and perhaps the greatest woman to ever set foot in a WWE ring. And with all of Charlotte's accomplishments, some say she's already a living legend. She's had rivalries with Lynch and Rousey and revolutionized the industry. When your last name is Flair, competing is like breathing. And the queen has built an empire. No false bravado, always personal, always physical. Yeah, and always maintaining supreme confidence and savage ferocity. We well, you know what they say, guys. To be the man, you have to beat the man. And she's about to face the man. Not going to go down without the fight of her life tonight. The one, the only, the man, Becky Lynch. Perhaps the most popular star in women's division history. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. A woman who has devoted her career to elevating the women's division. Arguably the hardest working competitor in the women's division. And she's also a leader and she's a trailblazer. Became the first women's double champion when she beat Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania. Yeah, but every once in a while, that much confidence can be detrimental, especially when you're a target. Everyone wants to make a name off of the man. Go. Superstars finally enter the ring and we are officially underway. Oh, face buster. Ducking out of trouble. And she dodged that one nicely. There's the crucifix. Nicely done. Oh, God. Knee takes a big hit. Ooh, what a forearm club. Kick gets caught. Oh, elbow to the knee. That'll hyperextend your leg. With the counter. If you're taking on Becky Lynch, here's a piece of advice. Don't take your eyes off her. Becky has a talent for coming out of nowhere with big, impactful attacks. So pin her down with direct offense and don't let up. Yeah, just how many times have we seen Becky dig deep and turn the tables at the last minute? Party's over. Good night. She faked her out. Charlotte's still in this. Yeah, she probably knew that cover wouldn't do it. Devastating elbow. Hip toss across. Right into a drop. The elbow to the arm. Becky Lynch hits the rope. Uh-oh. And Charlotte with a reversal. She's got an answer for that. Lynch gets stonewalled. Reversal after reversal. Becky with a takedown. Looking for the disarmer. Can she cinch it in? The disarm her. The queen in serious danger. Arm is trapped, but she gets away. Able to get the advantage here. Schoolboy pinning combination. Oh, maybe not. What power. She's beginning to flag a little. 
And there's that ruthless streak of Charlotte's already just flowing out of her. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Got the front face lock applied. Nice suplex. A oh, slap. Oh, and return fire from Lynch. Lynch letting her opponent know who's in charge. Becky. Ooh, manhandle slam. And that could do so. Charlotte Flair proving why she's been the measuring stick in the women's division for so long. A lesser competitor would have stayed down for three. And maybe now Lynch has to revise her game plan because it wasn't enough to keep the competition down. Shit, will it be? Quick count out after one. Amazing effort by her. She hit the corner hard. A counter answered by another counter. Setting up for something here. Finds a way to get out of it, and that indecisiveness proved to be costly. Here comes the man! Becky Lynch is rolling. The Irish, what? maybe not. Time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Lynch looking to secure. This would be an amazing upset. On oh, this trap, but she gets away. Solely focused on in the corner. Nasty chop delivered by Charlotte. Natural selection. Did Charlotte just make the covers? Shoulders up. Shoulders up. There is no doubting the desire of Becky Lynch. You don't take that punishment and get up unless there's a yearning in your body to be the best. Does Charlotte now have to resort to an alternative? Do something else to end things? We are seeing no quit from the man. And the queen isn't bowing down either. And Flair gets that turn back on her. Turns it around. Sold it. This might be the game of the end. Oh, man handle Flair. Is it the finishing touch Lynch needs? Kicks in, just kicks. It's not often Charlotte comes that close to defeat. You have to think the temperature of this match has just been turned up a notch. The man setting her up. Manhandle slam. Will that sew this up for Becky? Two. Becky Lynch picks up the victory in impressive fashion. to come out on top even when facing a generational talent like Charlotte Flair. Now, Becky is just that good and her fire in the ring is just undeniable. Yeah, Becky Lynch has put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into her WWE journey and it continues to pay off with big wins like this one over Charlotte Flair.
ripped off. Oh. This is ridiculous. From behind and I've beaten the hell out of them. You had to know this was coming. These two cannot stand each other. There's always a time and place for everything. This superstar is out of line. Thank goodness for some extra security to separate these two, but the damage has been done, let's be honest. Get them out of here. Get them out of here now. Can they still participate in this match? I still can't believe that competitor would jump them before the match. It took multiple people just to stop the attack. There is serious bad blood between those two. This match is off to a rocky start after some blows were exchanged before the bell. But now these superstars look ready for even more action. There is no reason to go through with this match after that brawl before the bell. Oh, I can think of one very good reason. It's called pride. If you had any yourself, you might understand. Firm control. Oh, kick right to the face. Oh, God, that hurt. Both arms captured, and vitriolic stumps. And another just non-stop aggression. Oh, my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Great counter. Elbow drop. Big time. Now ah, trampling the opposition. Crippling attack on the knee. I think we all know that The Fiend comes into every match with one move at the front of his mind. The Mandible Claw. How do you work around that debilitating hold, Corey? Well, for starters, you can keep your mouth firmly shut at all times. But your main focus has to be not leaving yourself vulnerable to the claw. You do that by only attack. Here's the cover. No, shoulders up at two. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Down to opponent and a double axe handle smash. The Fiend is sustaining the attack. The Fiend doing whatever he wants because he can. A counter by The Fiend. And he's taking this to the outside now. And he's able to counter. He's finding a way to slow his opponent's assault down. He's trying to bring the fight back in this one. Oh, my Lord. Oh, right to the jaw! Oh, watch this display of power. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. They won't be denied. Absolutely not. This one is headed outside, guys. Stops the kick. The Fiend turns that away. What are they doing here? Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. Oh, and then the chest as well. The Fiend has no control here. Using a good strategy against the Fiend, carefully picking the right opportunities to attack. Big forearm. And Dijak got bottled up there. Switched it up and hit the DDT. A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. Brought out of ringside and back to the mat. Incoming! Crash landing! Powerbomb! He's struggling a bit here. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. What started with strong words and healthy locker room competition has snowballed into an out-of-control feud between these competitors. It's been an interesting story to watch from ringside. Each new chapter has been more dramatic than the last. Rivalries like this are what legends are made of. Oh, wiped out with the crossbody. Don't do this. He can end it here. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, he kicked out. And frustration might be starting to set in. Big impact. 
That was more splatter than splash. Escapes with a knee to the gut. He's burying elbows in the midsection. He executed that, it was good night. You have to wonder how much more can he take? That's insane! Oh, misses the mark. Oh my god, shoulders down! And he is saved by the ropes. Dropping the elbow. Oh, that can rock you. Able to reverse that one. Got to find a way to get out of this. Straight impact on the throat. Oh, my Lord. Oh, rocking the jaw. Next stretch. Fee turns the table. begin. We know there's no love lost. And even after the match, ready for a little more. Well, I think we need some help here to separate these two or else they're going to tear each other apart. That's exactly what's going to happen. It is going to pop off. Here we go. Oh. Training blows back and forth on our stage and finally we've got some help. Officials desperately and unsuccessfully trying to separate these two. Oh, the cops keep these two apart. 